Welcome to a very special edition of Field Engineering. Today we are going around the Jackson Systems building with custom controls installing live door lock security features on the building. We're going to see how that's all done on today's Field Engineering. All right, so we are here in the custom controls layer, and uh, Dave Moore is uh, so kind to join us. Dave, welcome uh, to the show. This is your second time in a row, isn't it? it absolutely, <laughs> at least. I don't know. Maybe how many? We've done several takes on. I know. Yeah. I know we have. I, that's my fault. Uh, so today, Dave, we're actually Jackson is expanding our building, and uh, we addressed some concerns. We need some uh, security beefing up, uh, and you, custom controls, are going to install some door locks. Is that correct? We are going to put some locks on. Now, these are electronic door locks. They are electronic door locks. Um, there's a lot of different uh, things, ways you can do it. We're just going to use card swipes or uh, proximity sensors, what they call them. Um, you can also do iris readers and thumb checks and and all kinds of fun little uh, James Bond stuff. <laughs> Very cool. Now these are through these controls are through Disc Tech, and that's what you mainly rep, right? They are through Disc Tech. And that's the front end portal where you'll be able and, to yeah, control. All the controls themselves are from Disc Tech and uh, using uh, peripheral devices from some of the higher end uh, door lock uh, manufacturers. Very cool. Will you mind if we check out the progress? Let's do that. All right, let's check it out. What are these cables here? These are actually access control cables. What's kind of cool about these, uh, if anybody has never seen this before, is uh, there are four different cables inside this. Uh, we got one that's shielded, shielded conductors. Those are for uh, the the actual card reader itself. Now, where where is it all connecting to? So you, this is going to the card readers. Yes, these are going to each door in the building. Uh, we don't have them all here yet. There's actually. Uh, nine, ten, maybe 10 or 11 doors that we're connecting. What we have here are uh, multiple uh, card reader modules. Um, there's also a IO module, which we haven't gotten in yet. So, and you got some power supplies and so on. This is power supply, two card reader modules. We're getting the third card reader module. Each one does two doors. So that's how that works. They all home run back to this control panel? Everything home runs back to this control panel. Okay. Yeah. Now, you can locate these different card modules. You can locate them remotely around the building. Um, in our particular situation, we chose to put them all in one large panel. Can we take a look at those card readers? Yes. Let's go take a look at those. All right. Let's go see it. Okay, Dave, we're at the rear access near the loading dock and the um, warehouse here at Jackson. So I've, we found a run here. It looks like these, these guys had to go all the way up into the beams there and mm. drop this down to this door right here. And this is the exact wire we saw. Yes, this is the wire that it's on the other end. Same thing. It's just uh, sitting at this door. And what we're going to do is we're going to put an electric strike on the door. And on the outside, we'll have a uh, proximity sensor where you can sense the card that whoever has it and whoever's allowed in this door will have a access to it and whoever's not won't
This is the electric strike. This is the electric strike. This is the other component of the uh, door lock system. This is what keeps the door locked or, or when uh, power is applied, it opens the door. And this, this little strike would end up going, replacing this, uh, this piece right here. Uh, now, Dave, not all doors are the same. Like you mentioned earlier, this is the, the panic bar or the push bar. So this requires a different uh, mechanism. Can you show us what's going here? We need a different type of electric strike for that. And that looks like this, uh, which is the inside of it. But when you put uh, when you have the cover on it, it looks kind of like that. And what happens is uh, these things are in there good. Once you apply power, they flip open and it uh, lets right now. See, I push on this people won't be able to get in. But once this, once that latch flips open, then they'll be able to get in. So with our contractors that run into projects like this where they want to install some door locks, do you have the capability or the ability to tie these into alarms for emergency situations? Absolutely. This is a security system as well. So, uh, um, And in that case, you'd want to have a uh, um, door status sensor like this one right here, which is just a little magnetic door status sensor, which is what our alarm system is on uh, at this point. But uh, And uh, there's also other types of uh, door holders uh, like um, mag locks and so on which would be mounted up here and then when you do that you got to have some extra sensors or some push to exit uh, push buttons and things like that this is the uh, the easiest and uh, I feel like the safest type of uh, system that you can put on awesome and do you get push notifications or any sort of um, emails if you want to have like if after hours like someone's in or someone's out mm -hmm. yes absolutely you can uh, you can do all kinds of things with it. Um, here, we we most likely will not be tracking which individual person comes in and out of what individual door, but you can do that. Uh, you can keep track of that. Um, I imagine some companies might tie in their time clocks with it as well. Um, so that's always a possibility. Uh, it uh, You can also hook this in with the alarm system. You dial in the alarm. Uh, to uh, when you're last person out of the building, mm -hmm. setting the alarm, lock every lock in the building at the same time. So that's always helpful as well. Very cool. All right, well, let's move on. We're almost finished here. Okay, now we are with Travis. He is actually in the ceiling on the ladder. Looks like he's pulling wire into one of the uh, disc, uh, disc tech panels. Travis, uh, what are you doing right now? What, what phase are we in? Uh, just the roughing in phase, getting all the cables that we're not utilizing that are spares for future use in the back so I can lace the panel and do terminations. Gotcha. So I see there's card reader one, uh, card reader two. These are all wired up to the doors. That every, all the doors are wired up right now, right? They're all feeding back here. Correct. Okay, so what's the next phase? So once you put all these wires in, how difficult is that, by the way? Oh, it's not. It's just um, practice. I'm doing it for many years. Gotcha. So what happens after this? Is all systems go, ready to fire up, or what needs to happen after this step? Well, we still are waiting on some, uh, some accessories for some doors, so we'll fire up certain doors okay. and then just test them and verify everything's working. Gotcha. Dave, thank you so much for taking us through uh, the building. Uh, these are great. I mean, this was a learning experience for me, and uh, it was a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. I mean, still, there's a lot of work that goes into this, but I think any one of our contractors could easily partner with Custom Controls and not walk away from this part of the job. Absolutely, J.D. This can be as easy or as complicated as you want to make it um, for 
just a simple way to have uh, easy access for different people and different doors of the building. Uh, it's a real simple thing to do, and we have the uh, technology to be able to do it, and the uh, staff and the installers that can do it as well. Awesome. Appreciate it, Dave. Thank you so much for being on Field Engineering. I'm your host, J.D. Brake, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>